Enterprising people have the following personality traits. Amazing focus, making use of their advantages, creativity, ego and self-belief, team spirit and social responsibility. These are people who know what they want and focus on that goal. It is locking onto this target which allows them to create amazing opportunities for everyone around them. It can allow you to strive for the next stage of your life, the next big thing. By concentrating on these goals and keeping these in mind, people like Steve Jobs have been able to create amazing products, companies and services which are used by millions of people around the world. So, when everyone around you is looking for the next quick win, never lose sight of your goals and your ambitions. Develop a habit of asking how, what, when on everything you do and soon you will develop a very important skill which will allow you to become great at everything you do. If you take The Apprentice as an example, the end result of any task set by Alan Sugar is to gain an advantage. By doing this, he is asking you to look at the resources you have and how to make the most of them. The same is true in Dragon's Den. They like investing in businesses they know, taking advantage of existing relationships, expertise and markets. You also need to identify your key skills, knowledge, network and finances. Know these and make these the foundations of your career, your personal development and make sure you select the opportunities which allow you to shine. This should not stop you from trying new things. However, it should develop your mindset into one which knows to add value to any situation. Turning this around, you must also know which options give you the greatest benefits. Whatever you decide to do after university, you'll be presented with a whole range of problems someone will want you to fix. Whether you're an engineer, a doctor or a fitness instructor, someone is always looking for a professional to help fix a problem. So, creativity will play a huge role in your success, enable you to work anywhere and ensure that you add value to any work situation. James Dyson tried 500 times to get his vacuum cleaner right and it is this dedication to creativity which has made him famous. His ability to solve problems has enabled him to create a world-class business around him. You also need to develop skills at university, skills that will allow you to generate ideas which will help solve real-world problems. So start to put yourselves into situations where you also need to solve problems and are able to add these to your CV at the end of your time at university. This is a very powerful personality trait, so developing your ego to ensure that you believe in yourself, taking charge of your own destiny and respecting others as peers will all lead to your success. This courage to lead and develop others within a team is a very important aspect in all areas of your life especially when you work with others. Simon Cowell certainly has great belief in himself and others as he chooses potential stars with that certain factor. It is this courage in his belief which has made a lot of people very famous and very wealthy, to the extent where he will go on national television to say exactly what he thinks. We may or may not agree with everything he says, but would we have that courage or that belief in our own judgement? Every company has developed a team in and around it, so understanding how a team works, what personalities need to be in a team and how to work within a team will all make your work life more productive. Teams are a multiplier of talents. They allow others to work to their best whilst also letting you do what you are best at. So, when working within a team, you need to understand how they work, how you are approaching them and what other people will contribute. You need to try and understand yours and others' strengths whilst also understanding your weaknesses. This will allow you to work on your strengths, ensuring the greatest benefit for your team. Many great entrepreneurs have created amazing benefits for our society. The Gates Foundation providing £33.5 the old 19th century Lancaster mill owners creating a complete town. But in recent Britain, Anita Roddick provided an astounding role model for generating funds and awareness for social good. Her work with children's charities, Fair Trade, The Big Issue and Greenpeace, along with campaigns to stop animal testing, have all helped bring attention and resources to these much needed causes. It was the belief that she could help others using her core values which drove her to help millions of people around the world. Again, it is your responsibility to make a difference. Nobody else but you can make small changes which will develop over your time at university.
So just to recap, enterprising people have the following personality traits. Amazing focus, making use of an advantage, creativity, ego and self-belief, team spirit and social responsibility. And they make sure they know how to use them.